Uh, you know, there's a lot of good I can say about this mic. There's a little bit of bad I can say about this mic. I've had it for about two weeks now. I've been putting it to the test and putting it to work for about four days a week. So let me break it down. And how you be doing the movies? <laughs> First good thing I like about the mic. In fact, I love, I love it. The size of the mic, man. It's small as hell. It is small as heck in comparison to my old mic. This makes it a whole lot easier for me to put it on my rig setups. This makes it a whole lot easier for me to carry in my bag. Even just carry in my hand for real. And it just makes the camera lighter. Also, um, built-in wind protection. I think that's what it's called. Uh, I forgot. But basically, the dead cat is already built in. So that pretty much means that, you know, light, moderate winds, I, I would assume. Because I haven't been in crazy wind conditions. But like light, you know, normal winds, the mic is not going to be doing all that. <laughs> Let's talk about the plus and minus gains on the side of the mic, which is it's plus 20 dB, negative 20 dB. Now, personally, me, I don't know why I would ever use it because the type of stuff that I shoot, I'm gonna already have my audio level set up to where I want it to be. And if it's not, I'm gonna go edit it in post and then adjust it. Being able to go plus 20 is like absurd. And when we tested it out in the last video. Okay, so, whoa, that's redlining, Never mind. Man, that junk turned the audio up. And then when we turned it down, it was quiet as hell. So we turned it down and like, dang, worse. I don't see myself ever using it, but I guess if you're doing something that may need it, it's there, it's beneficial, it's helpful. The next one would be the low cut. You know, having that low cut option on the side, I personally would never ever need to use it. Maybe if I want to use it for like, uh, an effect to have like a certain sound effect with the audio, maybe, but then again, like I said, I. I would just do that in post because now I have the option to keep it normal or, you know, edit that. And now I'm gonna turn it on. And now it's turned on, but there's not really a whole lot of extra noise. I'm not saying these features are bad things, but like, they're just like, they're optional. They're not really necessary for some people, definitely not for me with the stuff that I do. So, you know, um, those things are just kind of like, those, those things for me are just kind of neutral. Now let's talk about just the sound itself. First thing is, I was just in here last night. I got here late last night at 12. The pure sound of how the mic sounds in itself. I compared this mic to my old Rode shotgun mic, which is about eighty dollars, hundred dollars, and this mic blew it out the water. Which I figured, I, I kind of, you know, I kind of guessed that it would. Eighty dollar mic to a two hundred dollar mic, it should be better. It was a lot better than I expected. It was a whole lot better than I expected. In fact, I was like, damn, I'm never using my old Rode mic ever again because this audio is so. It's like this audio. This audio is so clear. This audio is so perfect. I'm gonna vlog every day now. Like, what are you, what are you saying? And on top of that, it's a cardioid sound level, cardioid sound system. I don't know what that, I don't know how you call that, how you, would, how you would say that in the right terms. But basically, that just means that whatever the mic is facing, it's gonna capture everything it's facing and then around it. So it's gonna be like kind of like that a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's how it's gonna kind of work. It's not gonna capture too much audio from the backside behind the mic. It's gonna really get what's in front. So if you're vlogging and you turn the camera around like I did in my last video. I got Boruto at the house, but this one's just harder because he um he's in a, what you call it, mode. If you start vlogging what's in front of you while having that mic and you start talking, you're gonna sound like you're close to the mic, but you're gonna sound a lot deeper. You're gonna sound a lot lower than what's in front of the actual mic. So it's not gonna sound good if you're behind the mic and the mic's not facing you, which is a good thing. This sounds good to me. I mean, I'm no audio professionalist, but I, I enjoy what I'm getting right now. The next thing and a very important feature to me is that the plug-in is right under the mic. It's in the front under the mic. I really like that. I really enjoy that because a lot of times when you have the plug-in on the back of the mic, if you have a rig set up or you have a handle and you got it set up on, you got it mounted somewhere on the camera and you're trying to hold your, 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 your rig, your gear, your equipment, and you got other stuff mounted as well, sometimes that can get in the way and block certain movements, block certain rotations, you know, stuff like that. The biggest thing that I really like about the mic, the, like the biggest main thing probably out of all of it, because it's so convenient, is the power, is the power. Now, yeah, it runs on batteries, it's AAA, so no, um, thankfully, but also sadly, it does not uh, drain power from your camera, which is a good thing because that just means that, you know, your camera would die faster. But it's also a bad thing because now you gotta go out and buy, you know, AAA batteries from time to time. But I think if I'm not mistaken, this camera, not camera, this battery, not battery, damn, the mic has a hundred hour lifetime on the batteries. And then when it, once it gets to, I think an hour left, it'll blink three times and let you know ahead of time, okay, I'm dying, it, it started to turn orange, which I haven't gotten there yet, but that's what the manual said, you know what I'm saying? That's not the main thing that makes it so convenient. What makes it so convenient is that once you turn the camera on, the power goes on. 
once you turn the camera off, the power goes off. There is no switch or flip on or off button on the mic itself, which is very nice because a lot of the, a lot of the mics that I've had in the past, if they took batteries, that means they had their own power button. But thankfully, this one doesn't. So when you turn the mic on, I mean, when you turn the camera on, the mic goes on. Turn the camera off, the mic goes off. So you're not using extra power, you know, by having to flip this switch on and off. You're not forgetting to turn it on and off when you have to record. It's automatically on every single time when you turn it on and off. Those are probably the good things that I really like about the mic. Now, the bad thing, let's talk about the bad thing. It's not that much of a bad thing for me because of what I do, can it can be ignored, it can be overseen, but for what some other people do, it might play a major key factor. It might, you know, it might be do or die when it comes to if you should buy this mic, if you should gift this mic to anybody or not. The problem is that the mic has its own built-in audio. Let me let me rephrase that to make it sound a little bit more concerning. The mic gives off its own noise when you're recording. If I be quiet enough and we got the vents and the job going on, you know, in the background noise, let's just listen real quick. Let's just be quiet and listen. Now, I don't know if you guys really heard that. I don't know if you can't hear that. But if you got headphones on, nine times out of 10, you heard it. If you don't got headphones on, you're playing through a TV, you're playing through a monitor, whatever, whatever. You you probably didn't really hear it unless you got really good sound bars, speakers, you got good headphones, then yeah. It's got a very slight static sound. Now you can't really hear it unless you're really focused, paying attention to it, if you ain't got headphones on. Now, if you got headphones on, you're gonna be able to hear it. Headphones, earphones, whatever. But if you just like watching through the TV, through the monitor, through you know a regular speaker, you might not hear it unless you turn it all the way up then you're gonna hear it it's not noticeable when things are going on and audio is being captured but once there's quiet in the room once there's quiet on the set you're gonna be able to hear it a whole lot easier so for me it's not a problem because i do a lot of videos where there's background music i do a lot of videos where there's vlogs so a lot of commotion a lot of background noise is going on but if you're doing like an interview if you're doing something that requires you to be quiet there's a chance you might hear it and what I recommend is go watch other reviews, other things alongside this to kind of get yourself a better opinion decision. On a scale of one to 10, how bad is it to me? It's like a three. At the, at the most, it's a four. It's not a five, six for me. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like, oh man, I bought this mic and it's so good, but I want to get another one to get rid of this mic because it causes this issue. I want to get a mic that doesn't have the built-in noise. Nah, I'm just like, man, you know, it is what it is. That's probably the only bad thing for that I got to say about it. I don't really have, I don't have too much else to say. Look, I'm gonna wrap it up here, man. I told you I want to keep this, uh, this, this review short and sweet, and I hope I did that. But anyways, I'm gonna get up out of here. This is no longer my office. If you're an OG to the channel, if you're an OG and you've been here for a minute, then you would know we in the famous The Office, but this is not my office anymore. I still work here. I just don't work up here anymore. I, I'm always downstairs now. I'm always in the office downstairs. Because before, I kind of just made this my office and then the office downstairs my office. But after a while, I just started to realize and figure like, man, I, I'm never up here. Unless I got to print something on the printer, I might as well just make the office downstairs the main and only one. And then print stuff down there and come up here, pick it up. So I'm going to have to kind of retire telling you guys to get out of my office because now it's just back to being the good old storage room. Normally I say get out of my office, but... This time, I really am going to get out myself. See you guys in the next one, man.